Hi, this is Sally from eLearning, and I'm going to demonstrate how to set up gradebook policies in your Canvas gradebook. So there are several options for gradebook policies that you can set up. You can set up uh, late assignment policies. You can set up missing assignment policies. You can set up grade posting policies. And these policies automate some of your work for you based on the rules that you apply. So first you'll want to open your gradebook by going into your course and clicking the grades tab in the navigation menu. And then you want to click the, um, the gear icon in the right top right of your gradebook. And this opens up the gradebook policies. And you can see there's three tabs. So the first tab we're going to look at is the late policies. So one policy you can apply is to is to automatically apply a grade for a missing submission. So this means any assignment that's submitted online, once it's late and it has still not been submitted, the gradebook will automatically apply the grade that you put in here. So check the box and I would I put zero because I want to apply a grade of zero to any missing assignment. And I suggest people set this policy up because it allows students to get immediate feedback after they have not turned in an assignment um, that shows how that zero um, is affecting their grade. And this will often, um, you know, students will notice this and it'll uh, motivate them to get that assignment turned in if you accept late work. So this is the other late policy you can apply is to automatically apply deduction to late submissions. So if you if you deduct points for late submissions, you can set this up. It it does not um, deduct points. What it does is deducts a percentage of the grade. So if you you know for each day it's late, say you um, deduct ten percent from the grade. So you can put a 10 here and select day here. You have the choice of day or hour. And then you can um, limit it. So if you don't want, so if they're 10 days late, but you don't want their grade to go down to zero, you can um, put a minimum. And so we'll say 50%. So you don't want their grade to go lower than 50% because of a late submission. You can enter that there. And then once you've selected those um, policies, then you want to click this update button. So next we're going to look at the grade posting policies. And this is um, how you, how and when you want your grades posted. So the default for the gradebook is for grades to automatically be posted as soon as you enter a grade in the gradebook, the student sees it. Sometimes, um, instructors prefer to wait and have the grades posted once they're all finished grading everyone's, for example. Um, so if that's what you would rather do, then you would want to set your grade book to manually post grades. So you have to remember if you have set up the course to manually post grades, you have to remember to post those grades so that your students can see them when you're ready. And then the last option we have here in this advanced tab, you can um, check this box to allow final grade override. I'm not going to check it at this time, but what that's going to do is it's going to add another column to the end of your grade book in case um, you want to give a student a, you want to override the grade they've been given in Canvas for some reason you want to change their grade. That's a way that you can do that in Canvas so that they can see it. So I've um, created all of my policies. You just make sure to click update before you close. So now I want to show you what happens when you have the manual um, grade posting policy and you start entering grades. So I'm going to enter this grade here. Now you can see that this little icon, this is an I that's crossed out. This is a reminder to you that even though you entered that grade, the students can't see it yet.
So in order for students to see the grades, you'll need to post them. So you can um, hover over the cell that has the assignment name in it and click these sideways ellipses. And then you'll want to click post grades here. And you can choose whether to post everyone's grade or only post the grades that for students who have been graded. So select which one of those you would like to do. Um, if you have a course that's combined with another course, you could choose a specific section of students to post their grade. That doesn't apply to this class because there's only one section. So anyway, when you've when you're ready, just click post. and wait for it to finish. <laughs> so now the grade has been posted. You can see the success message at the top. Um, the I has gone. So one more thing that you should know is that you can actually um, choose to have one assignment that has a different grade posting policy than um, your gradebook posting policy. So if for some reason I want this particular assignment, I would like students to see their grades right away, but I don't want to change my entire grade policy to automatic, I can just select automatic for only this assignment. So if you want to click on the sideway ellipses up here, and select grade posting policy that's going to open up the grade posting policy sidebar and I'll just select automatically post grades and save and now on this assignment only when I enter grades students will automatically see those grades. So that's a basic overview of how to set up your policies in the Canvas Gradebook and if you have any questions about that just contact eLearning. Thank you.